In a groundbreaking discovery that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, its origins and purpose remain unknown. Intriguingly, it has been discovered that this signal has been reaching us for the past 30 years, yet it went unnoticed. But the question on everyone's mind is, could this be a message from an extraterrestrial civilization? Are we on the verge of making contact with extraterrestrial beings? Let's find out in today's video. Ever since Grote Rubber, an American hobbyist astronomer, created the first functional radio telescope in 1937, our ears have been tuned to the sounds of the universe, eagerly awaiting a radio signal that might confirm we are not alone. Utilizing his self-built telescope, Reber conducted groundbreaking work, charting the radio emissions of the Milky Way, identifying intense radio wave sources beyond our galaxy, and making important observations that would eventually help physicists discover non-thermal radiation. Before continuing with discussions about extraterrestrial signals, it's crucial to have a basic understanding of radio waves. These waves are a component of the electromagnetic spectrum, just like light waves, and they all travel at the incredible speed of light, at 299.792 kilometers per second. SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has been continuously monitoring space in hopes of catching radio signals that could originate from an advanced civilization similar to our own. In this attempt, we encountered some mysterious radio signals. While this one signal, named WOW, stands out as one of the unexplained instances detected on August 15, 1977, from deep space, this signal has left everyone puzzled. The Big Ear Radio Telescope, located at Ohio State University's Perkins Observatory and dedicated to SETI research at the time, was instrumental in capturing the WOW signal. Dr. Jerry R. Eamon, an astronomer actively involved in the SETI project, was analyzing data from the Big Ear Telescope when he stumbled upon a powerful and focused signal that persisted for a precise duration of 72 seconds. Struck by the signal's nature, Dr. Ullman highlighted the data on the computer printout with WOW in red ink. What led Dr. Amon to label this discovery as the WOW signal? The answer lies in the specific frequency at which the signal was intercepted, 1420.1 MHz. This frequency corresponds to the hydrogen line, which is deemed by numerous scientists as a likely frequency for communication if used by extraterrestrial civilizations. The hydrogen line in the field of radio astronomy represents a distinct wavelength of radio waves emitted by hydrogen gas in space. In 2017, Professor Antonio Paris from St. Petersburg College proposed a theory suggesting that the WOW signal might have originated from two comets, 266 P. Christensen and 335 P. Gibbs, both of which are enveloped by vast clouds of hydrogen gas extending millions of miles. Despite this hypothesis, several astronomers, including Dr. Jerry R. Amon, the original discoverer of the WOW signal, remain skeptical. They argue against the comet theory, pointing out that the signal was a one-time occurrence and only lasted for a brief period. The Big Ear Telescope, which detected the signal, was equipped with dual feed horns, each providing a separate field of view. If the source of the signal had indeed been a comet, Dr. Amon should have observed the signal twice, each instance lasting 72 seconds within a minute and a half. However, this was not the case, casting doubt on the comet explanation. It's important to highlight that Dr. Amon does not firmly believe that the signal originated from extraterrestrial beings. Despite this, the WOW signal remains the strongest signal ever detected, and its source, whether a natural phenomenon or something else entirely, continues to puzzle us. This captivating mystery adds to the list of numerous other unexplained signals we have received. In 2020, a team of researchers was analyzing data collected by the ASKP Radio Telescope in Australia. They identified signals from two million objects and set out to categorize each one. While the computer system successfully identified numerous objects as stars and even pinpointed the characteristics of a pulsar, a rapidly spinning, collapsed star, the researchers and the computer were both confused by one particular object located in the center of the Milky Way. This mysterious object emitted strong radio waves 
producing six signals over nine months. The signals displayed fluctuating patterns and polarized radio emissions, characteristics researchers never encountered before. Adding to the mystery, the object was not visible in X-ray or infrared light. The radio signal abruptly ceased, remaining undetectable for months despite extensive monitoring with two different radio telescopes. Shockingly, these strange radio signals reappeared a year later, only to disappear once again within a single day. Although it might seem like we have yet to receive any definitive signals from an advanced civilization and concrete evidence remains a mystery, this does not mean space is silent. In reality, signals from an advanced civilization may be reaching us at this very moment, even if we have yet to recognize or interpret them. Researchers have recently stumbled upon an entity that has been transmitting radio signals in the direction of Earth since 1988, although this fact has only just come to light. Over the past three and a half decades, this distant object, located 15,000 light years away, has been emitting irregular bursts of energy. These bursts vary in intensity and have been striking Earth with remarkable regularity, approximately every 20 minutes, occasionally persisting for up to five minutes. Initially, researchers speculated that the radio signals might be emerging from a magnetar, a type of neutron star characterized by its extremely intense magnetic field. Magnetars have the most vital magnetic fields in the universe, with a strength that can be a trillion times greater than Earth's magnetic field. The surface of a magnetar can experience fractures, leading to phenomena known as starquakes. These starquakes release an immense amount of energy, occasionally resulting in the emission of powerful X-rays and gamma rays, which are detectable from our planet. The Square Kilometer Array an innovative telescope currently under construction in both Australia and South Africa holds the potential to solve this mystery. This extensive array is expected to be fully operational by the year 2028. We need to achieve advancements in technology before the true nature of the signal remains uncertain. This brings us to an intriguing possibility. Could we receive a radio signal from a civilization light years away? Theoretically, it is possible to catch a radio signal from a distant civilization. However, multiple critical factors must be considered. One is the frequency range that we are monitoring. To successfully detect a signal from an extraterrestrial civilization, we need to be tuned into the correct frequency range. There are specific frequencies, referred to as waterhole frequencies, ranging from 1,420 to 1,662 MHz that are considered optimal for such communication. However, a major hurdle we face is the unpredictability of whether other civilizations would opt to communicate using these specific frequency ranges. Second, signal strength. It plays an important role in detecting these transmissions from afar. For a signal to be detectable across the vast expanse of interstellar space, it would either have to be exceptionally powerful or be aimed precisely at our solar system. General transmissions lose strength rapidly over great distances due to the inverse square law. The force of gravity that pulls two point masses toward each other depends on two main things, their masses and the distance between them. Specifically, the gravitational force gets stronger as the masses increase and weaker as the distance between them gets larger. This doesn't mean that our radio signals will never reach a distant civilization. In fact, it's entirely possible. However, we encounter challenges related to timing and the vastness of timescales once again. Due to the constant speed of light, observing the stars is essentially looking back in time. Consider Sirius, a bright star located 8.6 light years away from Earth. When you observe Sirius, you see it as it was 8.6 years ago because that's how long it took for the light to travel to your eyes. This time-traveling effect becomes even stronger as we observe objects farther away in the universe. For example, when you look at Dubi, the leading star in the Big Dipper constellation, you are witnessing light that began its journey to Earth before you were even born. In addition to radio signals, humanity has sent several spacecraft into the solar system and beyond which could alert extraterrestrial civilizations to our presence. NASA's Exoplanet Initiative is fundamentally aimed at detecting signs of existing life on a planet outside of Earth. 
Voyager 1 and 2 probes are significant examples equipped with transmitters. Howard Isaacson, an astronomer from the University of California, Berkeley, conducted a study and found that by the year 2300, these Voyager probes could have made over 1,000 stars and potentially their inhabitants aware of our existence. Isaacson suggests that the signals emerging from these probes would be distinguishable as being of artificial origin. He assumes that within the next eight years, the nearest star system to ours could receive our signals and might even have the capability to respond. Furthermore, extraterrestrial beings might employ methods similar to those used by human astronomers for detecting exoplanets orbiting distant stars, providing another possibility for making contact. Extraterrestrial observers might have already scrutinized Earth's atmosphere, identifying the presence of liquid oceans capable of sustaining life. Additionally, the distinct glow emitted by sodium-based city lights on our planet could serve as a clear indicator of an advanced civilization, making our presence known. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI scientists have also highlighted the possibility that aliens might detect us through the pollution we generate. Imagine a scenario where an alien civilization situated 65 million light years away is observing Earth. They would be witnessing our planet as it existed during the dinosaur era. However, they would not be able to hear any radio signals from us. Contrary to this, suppose a distant civilization were to detect radio signals from Earth. In that case, humanity may no longer exist when they attempt to reach us unless they can manipulate space and time, such as through wormholes. A wormhole acts as a shortcut or tunnel, connecting two far-off places in the universe, potentially reducing the journey time between them significantly. Rather than spending millions of years traveling from one galaxy to another, it's theoretically possible, given the right circumstances, to travel through a wormhole and arrive at the destination in hours or minutes. However, it remains uncertain as to why or in what manner an extraterrestrial civilization might opt to communicate. Their methods and technologies could be far beyond our current comprehension, and they might have reasons for choosing not to communicate. Initiatives like the Breakthrough Listen Project are actively scanning the cosmos with unparalleled precision in search of any potential extraterrestrial transmissions. On the other hand, it is entirely conceivable that aliens, armed with more advanced telescopic technology, already possess the capability to observe us. Thomas Beatty, an astronomer at the University of Wisconsin, suggests the possibility of alien astronomers utilizing a space telescope with a 100-meter, 330-foot diameter which could potentially be used to conduct detailed observations of Earth at this very moment. Even by utilizing a small-sized telescope capable of perceiving Earth as a dim point of light, extraterrestrial beings can infer the presence of life on our planet. Observing the Earth's axis tilt and rotational patterns could allow these distant observers to create a basic map of our planet, identifying features such as continents, oceans, and shorelines. In 2018, Jonathan Jiang, an astrophysicist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, successfully employed this method using a spacecraft within our solar system. Science fiction has frequently explored scenarios in which aliens visit Earth, often resulting in dramatic and sometimes disastrous events. Within the scientific community, opinions are divided on whether we should proactively seek to communicate with extraterrestrial civilizations, considering the potential risks involved. A concern among some is that it might already be too late. Extraterrestrial beings may have been observing us in silence, choosing not to communicate with us. Despite our continuous efforts and advanced technology, the quest to find extraterrestrial beings has yet to be successful. What impact would it have on humans if we discovered that we are not alone in the universe? What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video intriguing, Give it a universal like, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button faster than a meteor. Stick around. Click the video on your screen for more astronomical adventures.